Welcome back to Boston, everybody. Come on inside the Cube here at IBM Think 2024. My name is Dave Vellante, and we're here with Alvin Francis, who's the Vice President of Product Management for Business Analytics at IBM, and Tony Baer, friend of the Cube. He's a principal at DB Insight, even though he's got way more than one insight. <laughs> Tony, Alvin, welcome to the Cube. Good to oh, see you guys. Good to see Pleasure you again, to Dave. Good to see you. So, Watson, XBI Assistant. What's it all about? What problems does it solve? Why is it needed? Awesome, thanks a lot. That's a good question, Tony. So first, um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, Watson XBI Assistant is a brand new BI solution that we've actually launched here at Think. It's, um, it's a conversational first interactive um, product. It is focused on addressing some of the challenges that we have in the BI space right now. Um, if you look at um, what's happening in BI, organizations spend millions of dollars on tools um, every year, and we still suffer from adoption issue with BI. Only 30% of, of users that actually need business insights to make business decisions are actually leveraging these BI tools. Uh, what's next BI Assistant is targeted at addressing this adoption issue to ensure that BI is available for the decision makers when they need it, how they need it in a way that is easily consumable. So it simplifies the consumption. Uh, what, what's happening in the space today, the BI professional, are they just like, they burn out on the task and they just can't get to it or they're so busy, it's like a, like a data scientist, they're just wrangling data. Is that the issue? Well, the, the issue is it's because of the complexity of the existing tools. You know, you hear a lot about self-service, but it's not really self-service for the, the decision makers. It's self-service for the experts, for the power users. And so decision makers still have to rely on the data analysts to prepare, curate, and create these very complex dashboards so that they can consume. Um, and so this organization, the data analyst organization becomes a bottleneck in that entire process. And, and, and so with BI Assistant, what's next BI Assistant, our goal is to ensure that the decision makers um, can easily access uh, the business insights they need when they need it without having the dependency uh, of a data analyst. I see, okay, and Tony, you know, this, yeah. the BI industry has just been created to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. to, to, to address you know, the, the business needs to understand right. what's happening, and it's become this very complex, hyper-specialized yes. you know, pipeline. What's your take on all this um, and your take on the IBM announcement? Yeah, we'll put it this way. We've been through, I would say, probably three generations of BI, and keep in mind, you said it's supposed to serve the business. What's it called? Business intelligence. And the original I thought, and I remember it back in the 90s, back when we were still hauling logs you know, and, and, and water from the well, um, is that the whole idea was, you know, this is, a, this is an alternative to green screens. It was the, you know, when client server came on, so everybody would have a dashboard yep. on their desktop. Turned out to be, I mean, and that was a, certainly a step in the right direction. You have to view all of this in terms of what, we were, what the technology was capable of the, at the time. It obviously did not de you know, deliver on that promise, and that's where basically in about, the tw about 10 years later, we got the second generation, which was a self-service visualization. And what that did, it still required IT to prepare the data extracts, but now you know, an end user could download these data extracts and start playing with them, of course. You ended up having multiple versions of the truth. And the fact is there still was a fair amount of complexity, but it was an incremental improvement, a dramatic improvement, I should say, actually, over you know, 1.0. What we're seeing today now with, you know, with natural language and you know, generative AI is that we expect to have the same experience that Captain James T. Kirk did on the Starship Enterprise back in 1968, which is essentially to figuratively talk to our computers and maybe literally talk to our computers and ask questions in our, in our conversational language. And now with, with generative, we can get that back. So is it, am I understanding the, the linear progression here? It was yeah. sort of building cubes, and there's yes. just a few people who are capable of doing that, yeah, yeah. to a business analyst that might not have been as, as technical, but was pretty savvy, could, could build dashboards and visualization, to now you're talking to the machine. Right. That's Nirvana. Oh, How close are we to that? <laughs> well, actually, we have demos that were both today. Um, I think um, if you look at some of the technologies that we leverage at IBM, it's, it's built on Watson X. So you can see it's powered by some of the models that we have at Watson X, which it gives us the capabilities to have this interaction. 
Um, I would say that um, technology has matured over the last few years, so we are very close. I would say that um, just in terms of the accuracy that we have seen in terms of the results, um, we, we are very confident that we'll deliver on that promise. You know, the, the approach that we took is not necessarily just, hey, let's just make it a conversational, but we wanted to declutter BI, right? So if you think of some of the tools that are there, um, they're delivering on BI, but it's still very complex and very intimidating um, for the average user, right? So it's not just the fact that it's conversational, but it's very meaningful, very simple. Uh, removing all the, the, the need to learn a BI tool. So imagine never having to learn a BI tool ever again. You just converse in your natural language and you get the information that you need. Yeah, uh, I, I, I would love that. Um, what happens to sort of old school analytics like Cognos? Uh, how does that fit? Yeah, um, so y y the strategy that we, we are using is to ensure that BI, what's the next BI assistant is embeddable. We, as you can imagine, we have a very large customer base of, of Cognos, and most of our co customers use Cognos for Cognos reports. With What's in XBI Assistant, we're gonna enable these customers to derive more value from Cognos. So for example, um, they'll be able to ingest the metrics in the reports and now converse with the data on which the reports are built on. Um, so you could say that these products are gonna co continue to coexist but we're able to use BI Assistant to modernize the Cognos report experience for customers. Okay, so Tony, that, that doesn't go away, but no. I can still see a lot of potential innovation, maybe disruption when you right. start to, I mean, we've, we've API-ified the metrics. Um, we're always talking about the semantic layer to go you know, bring analytics and bring transactions now into the equation, mm -hmm. although that seems to be more distant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time you and I come, there's talk, always a hope. Yeah, right, we're still hoping for that. But this uh, this idea of feeding intelligent data apps, yeah, yeah, right. And obviously, BI is a huge part of that. How do you see it all playing out? Well, put this way: that's where I think where IBM was pretty savvy in terms of what they did. If this had been say five years ago, five or you know whatever, IBM's approach, default approach, would have been let's just add a conversational interface to Cognos and just make it look simpler. I think you know, what I give IBM credit for is they rethought this and said, look, where is this going? And yes, we need to basically bring our existing user base, you know, you know, our Cognos install base you know, you know, up to date with this, but we also need to reach out to the new generation of, very, of kind of like, you know, dis you know, I should say you know, uh, distributed apps, distributed data, distributed intelligence. And so therefore, let's make this embeddable. This doesn't have to be its own application. IBM is not going to be in the BI. I mean, yes, there wouldn't, wouldn't be BI tools business with Cognos, but that's yesterday's business. Today, it's we need intelligence on the data that we're getting, and we need to, you know, and it's not just, you know, you know, just essentially, uh, you know, you know, the traditional analytics, but we need to use, you know, machine learning, and in some cases, you know, in, in some cases, generative to to extend this and, and add more, you know, broader context. So you're saying it's a different. But, I mean, you're right. It's Back a different when, world. When IBM bought Cognos, it was part of an IBM transformation. Yes. Steve Mills was architecting. Yes. Now you're saying it's using AI to enable uh, uh, business insights or maybe even eventually business actions, and that's the IBM sort of value add here. Is yeah. that right? Well, that's, that's part of it. So, so just building on that uh, concept of business actions, there is a, a yeah. chasm that exists today between insights and actions. A lot of organizations believe that because they derive insights from the, from the data, they are leveraging these insights to make business decisions or take actions. Uh, part of our strategy is actually to integrate what's an X BI assistant with what's an orchestrate. So directly from the user experience, insights can be used to automatically drive actions and close that chasm between insights and actions. And this ships, I love that by the way, and this ships when? It's, a it's Q3. So, we are actually signing up customers right now for private preview. Um, and we had, a, as you can imagine, a lot of, of traffic at the booth. A lot of customers have signed up. Uh, we will co-create with a number of our key customers. And we will continue to ensure that we are obviously addressing the use cases. You know, you talk about how close we are in terms of delivering on the promise. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we want to make sure that we're working closely with our key customers, um, identifying some of the key pain points, solving it, and so that when we GE in Q3, we're going to hit it out of the pack. So let's say it ships this fall, a, a, a year from then. Let's say, think 2025. What do you want to be able to say 
in in May of 2025, IBM think, if that's what it is, that you can't say today? Um, so so our, our focus is obviously to drive adoption. Um, and so the way we will measure success and hopefully at think next year is to look at how organizations are adopting BI assistant to actually transform um, the entire BI organization and, and how they leverage um, data to make decisions. So what I can't say today, obviously, is the number of customers that we will secure. Uh, but I think next year we should be able to, to pop the, the, the champagne in terms of saying that we've been <laughs> successful. Um, obviously, um, this product will continue to evolve. Um, there's still a lot to be done in terms of how we transform BI. We are fairly confident that we're on the right path and it will evolve from a capabilities perspective, leveraging maybe more powerful models, some, in some cases smaller models that will integrate to address specific use cases. Um, but I think next year we should have, uh, obviously, continue to lead the curve and be differentiated. And real quick, Tony, what do you want to say, be able to say a year from now in this space that you can't say today? What I want to see, essentially, is that you know, where we're doing, I, I think a lot of the stuff that you're talking about with the orchestrate, where we're talking, you know, turning insight to action, you guys are promising that. I want to see that as reality next year. Guys, uh, great analysis. Congratulations on the announcement. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank Thanks, you very Dave. much. Good job right, for having us. We're wrapping up. You can hear the conference Conference hall is loud. <laughs> People are getting ready to go out tonight. This is Dave Vellante. Keep it right there. More action from IBM Think 2024. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise tech coverage. Right back.